Well, some of the most amazing photos and videos we see posted to our Arizona's Weather Authority Facebook group are of the wild Salt River horses. This video from Darcy Borg, just beautiful. Feels like everybody has seen these guys, everyone but me. So that FOMO led me straight to the next item on April's Arizona bucket list. Well, they're a symbol of the American West and the free spirit of Arizona. But after all of the amazing pictures and videos we get in from our viewers of the Salt River Wild Horses, can you believe I've never actually seen them for myself? Let's go ahead today and try to cross that off our Arizona bucket list. The gently rolling waters of the Salt River push us along in the early morning hours. You know, I think that water is such a fundamental part of our existence that you just feel a connection to, to life. John Colby has been a river guide for 35 years. Um, I think it just helps us stay connected to, to our true nature. He's seen a lot of wildlife in that time. Right, if we're going to see the horses, they'll be in that right channel. So. John is with REI. It's like you haven't forgotten how to use the IF paddle. Yeah. <laughs> haven't fallen out yet. <laughs> no. yeah, no, knock on wood. <laughs> Anne Marie Cruzy is also with REI, and I'm following her lead out here. We see the horses pretty frequently when we're out on our guided tours um, and we hear from our rental guests that they see them as well. There are only about 500 of the Salt River horses out here, but she's got my hopes up that today is our lucky day. There's a lot of wildlife here on the river. It really is um, the lifeblood of the area. You know, the Salt River is the reason that Phoenix exists in this area and so many um, different types of animals live up and down the river banks. We see bald eagles, we see great blue herons, we see egrets. We've seen a lot of wildlife at about an hour into our float, but no horses. Where are our horses? <laughs> They're hiding from us, apparently. While we search, it's a pretty spectacular view. This is so pretty though, look at this. That's Red Mountain, right? That is Red Mountain. Temperatures are much cooler than the valley. Finally, about two hours in, my photographer Rick spots some rustling in the trees. We paddle closer, and finally, a pregnant mare meets us at the water's edge. Okay, it took us a little while, but we finally found them, the Salt River Wild Horses. It's really majestic. We've heard a lot of people say they felt like they were on the Discovery Channel and they come around a bend and there's horses in the river and bald eagles flying overhead. These horses are protected by the state of Arizona and they're wild, so we keep our distance and let her graze in peace. So the horses were a little camera shy today. We saw a couple from a distance, one up close, but gosh, what a blast out here. If you'd like more information on REI's rafting tours, kayak tours, or rentals, stand-up paddle boards, they offer that too. Also, if you'd like more information on this beautiful stretch of the Salt River and where else you might be able to see those wild horses, we're going to put all of that on azfamily.com. All right, so a reminder, as beautiful as those horses are, they can be dangerous. So if you see them, you got to keep your distance. You know, guys, we got almost to the end of that two-hour trip without seeing them. And I'm like, <laughs> I did not have a backup plan for the story if we didn't see any. And, and they, they said, we were. almost always see them. So they tell me, you know, if you don't see them, you could go on up the road to Saguaro Lake, okay. up the Butcher Jones Recreation Area, all very popular spots to see those horses. Um, but, you know, we've got more information on um, the horses themselves. There's a, a lot, you know, that's been in the news with the horses right. and the origin of them mm -hmm. and, and how they ended up in that area. And of course, all the information on uh, REI. Uh, out there uh, as well. If you want to do a kayak or a rafting, you can do it with a tour. They can just bring the boat to you. That's, and that's so options. fun. And that's where uh -huh. Rick was on, the photographer was on that raft. Because I was like, yeah. is he kayaking? This is amazing. <laughs> he didn't fall in and they let him with the camera. They did. They put uh, Rick in a, uh, in a bigger raft. Uh, John, the guide you saw there, he's paddling okay. and Rick is with the tripod. Cool. But I'm, it was a lot to coordinate, yeah, but yeah. so is. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I see the horses up off of Dynamite. Up yeah. the, the river comes yeah. by up there mm -hmm. and uh, they're so pretty. They are. And you want to go ahead and tell us what happened to Mark? Well, that On another kayak? Trip. You're you the kayak it. queen now. <laughs>
Well, I've been fell kayaking over. now three times. Um, <laughs> I've three now, times. This month, this month oh alone, my God. over the years, I have seen Mark fall out kayaks <laughs> three times now. <laughs> so the other day, I said, <laughs> "You're gonna kill zero. me." I didn't, I, honey. I did not bring this up. The blame pass more. You know, I did. Um, I said, "You should put this like in your Twitter bio now." Seriously. This is happening so often. So he changed his Twitter bio to "falls out of kayaks a lot." <laughs> <laughs> this is true. That's hilarious. You guys are perfect oh. for one another. <laughs> Poor Mark. Uh, we love him, though. Thanks, April. Mm -hmm. That was great.